Hi, welcome to my farmhouse. I'm Leanne, and if you're new to my channel, I do cooking and baking from scratch, canning and dehydrating videos. If that sort of thing is just you, feel free to subscribe to the channel. If you find value in this video, hit the thumbs up. It really helps my channel to grow and I sure do appreciate it. Today we are making corn chip salad. It is great for a large gathering or a cookout or any other social gathering. I never heard of this salad until I started coming to my Mennonite church. It is very popular along, along Mennonite circles and I'm so glad I can share it with you today. And things to keep in mind when you are making the salad, you can prep it ahead, but you want to assemble it when you're ready to eat. And it is so good. It's not the healthiest salad in the world, but it'll fill you up and bring you some joy. So let's get to cooking, shall we? And if you've been around my channel for a while, you know this is how I cook bacon. It is done at 375 for 20 to 25 minutes on a cookie sheet with a cooling rack in there. And I put the slip map in there just thinking that I don't have to scrub the cookie sheet so hard. I find it the easiest way to cook some hard boiled eggs is just to spray a ceramic pan and crack some eggs open and then just put it in the instant pot and cook it for about 10 minutes on low and then when they come out just chop them up if you grow your own lettuce, I highly recommend this Tupperware salad spinner. And no, I didn't pay full price for it because they are rarely in stock all year round and they're $80 through Tupperware. I got mine off of Facebook Marketplace for $10. And I highly recommend it because the mechanics of that lid, you just put it on and it spins. I've tried a knockoff of a Cuisinart salad spinner and I was not happy and I love my fridge smart Tupperware containers lettuce does last longer in them all right to be transparent I cooked these for five minutes in the instant pot on low and they were still a little runny so I put them back in for another four minutes and now they are definitely cooked and I know there's probably an easier way to chop them but I prefer a knife then I make sure I put them straight back into the refrigerator. I'm showing you this part to give myself props that I didn't snack on this bacon while I was chopping it up. And this is name brand bacon and it, it, it's so good. For the dressing, you're gonna need one cup of mayonnaise or Miracle Whip, a quarter cup of milk, an eighth of a cup of vinegar, one quarter cup of brown sugar, and a quarter cup of white sugar. I'm gonna weigh my mayonnaise because it's easier and more accurate. So we're gonna put it on grams and we'll need 226 grams. All right, then we're just gonna add our milk Our vinegar our brown sugar our granulated sugar then whisk to combine Put it in my dressing shaker. Let's assemble the salad. You'll need the dressing that we previously made, a pound of cooked bacon, a half a pound of shredded cheese. 
68 hard boiled eggs, chopped. A bag of Frida chips, optional if it's the one at a time, back to the 80s bag. And I had a lettuce chopped. I'm using my homegrown lettuce from the garden because I'm not about to go to the store and buy a head of iceberg lettuce for ya. But I've washed this, triple washed it, spun it, and chopped it for ya. All right, let's assemble this salad. So we're gonna start with the cheese, then the eggs, and the bacon. Then we're going to shake our dressing and pour it on. I'm not going to put it all on just yet. And we're going to toss to combine. You want to do this in a big bowl. Now, I wish you could eat this with me right now and come over. It is so good. I hope you give this a try this weekend for your holiday or any social gathering. Now, what's going to come on the screen now is a video that I think you might enjoy. And if you haven't already, subscribe, like and share my videos. I sure do appreciate it. Now, God gave you a great day. Now, go do something great with it. Are you going to cry or are you going to...